In this video, we're going to be looking at the student preview mode. This is a really important feature in Blackboard and it allows you as the instructor to be able to access the content and preview it exactly as your students will see it. You can even interact with the uh, content and participate in it and try out every aspect of it. So in order to enter this mode, we go to the bottom of the left hand menu and click on student preview and then start preview. And now it loads us up and we're basically logged into this as a test student user that is automatically created for us. Um, and you'll notice that some content may not be there now because anything that you haven't made available to students, you won't be able to see because you are now effectively a student. Uh, likewise, the plus button is gone. You can't add content because, again, you're a student. Students can't add content. Some of the links on the left hand and top menu have also gone. But what you can do is anything that has been made available for students, you can access and you can basically participate in it exactly as you would do uh, as a student. And all of this content is going to be saved you can also participate in discussion forums. And then when you're finished with that, you click on the three dots at the top and you click on exit preview. And that then returns you to the course as a teacher or instructor. But now if I look into the section that I was in, I see this little blue notification because that tells me that somebody has contributed something to that. So I can click on that and I can see here we have uh, the discussion response. I can also go to the quiz, which is here, and I can see over on the top right, submission. And here I can see uh, Ian McNaught, preview user attempted here. There. Now you might uh, quite rightly be thinking, well, I don't want all that content because that's an entry in Gradebook and that's going to mess up my course. Well, there's an easy way to deal with that if you click on enter student preview mode and you go back into student preview. You may have noticed when I clicked on these three dots, we've got exit preview. You've also got reset preview. What reset preview does is it basically removes most of the temporary data that you created uh, when you were a student um, as preview, yeah, previewing it. So if we go back now to the uh, quiz that we tried, and go on there, we'll see that there are zero submissions now. If we go to the discussion forum, we will see there is an anonymous one there uh, because discussion posts and messages, anything communication related is not actually removed. So you need to keep that in mind. You can of course go and delete it, um, but anything that is connected to grades like uh, quizzes, all of that is removed. Uh, and you can see on the Blackboard help page, it specifies exactly what is and what, what is not removed. Now, one slight problem with the approach you've seen so far is if your course is open, which means students are actively uh, part of it, you, if you want to use the student preview mode, you have to make that content available to students first because the stu student preview user is a student. Uh, but that also means that this potentially unfinished piece of content is then accessible for that period of time by all students. So there's two things you can do there. Uh, one way of dealing with that is to make the entire course temporarily private. You do that from the front page then you can just click complete uh, and make course private. And then all of the students enrolled will still be there. They just won't be able to access it. And you can use your, student, your preview student without them seeing it. The other approach, if you don't want to make it private, is because you are actually a user as preview user, you can go down and something that is hidden from students, you can, instead of making it visible, you can do release conditions and then you can say specific groups or members and then you can select your preview user which will be your name underscore preview user and you can click save and then when you switch back into student preview mode you'll see that you're able to see that content